When you're accepting job applications through email, it's impossible to keep track of all of the applicants and where each person is in the process. Services like Indeed work pretty well, but they make it impossible to work outside of their system. Luckily, Airtable is basically built for this. It's super easy to set up an organized system that automates a lot of the repetitive work involved in hiring. Today, I'll show you how to create a form that collects applications into an Airtable base, including attachments like resumes. We'll set up an automation that will send an email reply to each person when they send in their application and another one to email top candidates that we want to set up an interview with. If you'd like to download a template of this base, you can find it in the video description below. All right, so we've got a mostly empty Airtable base here. I did name the table, our table here, it's called applications. And I created a couple fields here. We've got a first name and last name fields. These are single line text field types. And then our primary field is a name field, which just puts those two together, the first and the last name together with a space in between them. And that way we get to see each person's name in this leftmost column here, but we can still use these first names in our personalized uh, automated emails. So we can say, you know, hi, Joe, thanks for applying. And we'll do that later on. And then we've got an email address field. So I'm going to create a few more fields here. Let's make one for a cover letter. And that is a long text field type. And then we'll do one for a resume. That's an attachment. And then let's do one for the position. So just in case you're hiring for multiple positions at the same time. We'll make this a single select and let's make a couple options here. So let's just say design, marketing. I know these are super specific sales. I like to include a field for notes so I can track my correspondence with each applicant. That can also be a long text field. I'm just going to do one more for now. And that's going to be a field that will show us when they applied. So if I go here, I'm going to say um, date applied. And this is going to be a created time field type. And the way this works is anytime a new record is created, it's just going to log the time. And when someone submits a form, um, that is when their record is created. So anytime someone submits an application form, it'll say exactly when they did that. I'm going to untoggle this. I don't want to know time. I just need to know when they applied so that I can make sure to get back to people in a reasonable amount of time. So we'll create that field. And now that we've set out all the basic information that we want to collect from people, we can create our form. So going back over to this bottom left hand section here, I'm going to hit this form button and this is going to be the job application. So then I'll hit click create new view. So you can see it really did almost all of the work for us. We've got all of our fields here. Um, I don't need the notes in here. Those are for internal use. So I don't want them to fill out my notes. And then the one thing I'll do with this position here is I'm going to switch it to a list. I think this is just a little bit easier to fill out for people. They can see their options and that's it. It's already set up so that people can paste in their whole cover letter here and attach a resume. So once our form is created, we can share it by going up to the top here and just clicking share form. It goes to us a URL right here. And so if I just click this little box, uh, it'll open up the URL in a new tab so you can see what it's going to look like, but it's pretty simple. So there's our form and I might as well fill it out so we can see what that looks like. And it's also worth mentioning that we can require fields if we want to. So I haven't required any fields, meaning that in this example, I don't need to attach a file. But if we just go back to the form real quick, um, if I wanted to say require the resume, I can just open up this field here and then toggle this button that says required. And then you can see this little red asterisk shows up to show that it's required. I'm just gonna untoggle it for now because I don't have a resume to attach at the moment. So now I'll hit submit. And then if I go back into our base here and then go to the main view, I can see that the form was submitted and I can even see that it was submitted on October 31st. In addition to sharing a URL of the form, we can also embed the form on a website. So if you uh, go into the share form dialog again, 
and then go down here and click the embed this form on your site button that will open up a new tab that has an embed code here and we can even customize it right now if you look at it, you can see what it's going to look like on desktop and mobile and the way it's set up here you scroll so it's going to always going to be you know this height and then you would scroll to fill out the whole form you can also check this toggle to auto size the height and then it will just automatically be long from the beginning and so that's what it looks like there but either way to embed it on your website you're just going to copy this code here and then paste it into your website builder so back in the Airtable base the next thing I want to do is to set up our automation so as soon as someone submits an application we've got all their information but I want Airtable to automatically send them an email saying that we received it so I don't have to do anything so to do that, I will go into automations. And so we've got a new automation here. It's called automation one. I'm going to change this to say auto reply. And any Airtable automation has two sections to it. It has a trigger and then an action or actions. And so we want it to trigger when the form is submitted. So I'm going to click add a trigger here. And then I can pick from these options when a form is submitted. And then in this dialog on the right, I can select the table, which is the applications table, and then the form that, and so this is the specific form that we created that we want to trigger the automation. Here I can also choose an example to test, which gives us the one that we created so far. So I can click that as a test. And then in the actions, I'm going to add an action. And the action that I'm gonna choose, there are a couple different ways we can send emails within Airtable. One is this send email dialog, which sends from an official Airtable email address. But we've also got this other one that links to your Gmail account and actually sends from your personal address. And I have that set up. So I'm gonna click here, go to Gmail, send email. Now I can select my Gmail account. And this is where things get really cool because in the to field, I can dynamically fill this with the email address that the person submitted in their job application. So if I hit the little plus here, this now gives me the different options from the form that was submitted, including the email address. So I can just click email address here. And then for the subject, I'm going to say application received. And for the message, we can say hi and actually pull their first name from this list, comma. And then I'll just paste a message in here. Thank you for your interest in working at Three Rings Consulting. You can expect to hear from us within two weeks. And let's go ahead and generate a preview. That looks good. It's got my name here, application received. So the only thing we have left to do is just to turn it on. And that is done. So back in the data here, we need to add one more field so that we can build our second automation, which is to easily email people uh, to schedule an interview who we want to follow up with. So right next to the email address, I'm going to insert a field. And this field will be called schedule an interview. And it's going to be a checkbox field. Now that we have our checkbox, I'll go back into the automations and then create a new automation that's called schedule an interview. And the trigger for this one is going to be when that checkbox is checked. So we can go in here and say when record matches conditions, and then we will select our applications table. And then the condition will be when schedule an interview is checked. And if I were to choose a record here, it's actually not going to let me do it because I haven't checked anything yet. So let's go back, check this box, go into automations again, and then choose the record from the list that we want to test. And for the action, I'm going to add another Gmail email, select my account, select the email address for the to field. And the subject will say three rings consulting interview. And then in the body, we'll do the same thing. We'll say hi, first name. And then I've reviewed your application and I would like to schedule a Zoom call to talk further. 
please pick a meeting block from my calendar. And Airtable allows a kind of mini coding language called Markdown to add embellishments to your email bodies here. And I did this at the end. If I put some words inside brackets and then a URL inside parentheses, this just says, you know, this is just a link to my website, but let's say that was a Calendly link so that the person could actually schedule uh, a meeting block to, for us to, to hop on a Zoom. Um, when I go down and click generate a preview, it just shows the text that was within the brackets there. Uh, but then, you know, if I were to click on it, it would go right to the website. So that's just a nice way to make your emails a lot cleaner. Now that this is all set up, we will toggle that on and both of our automations are done. You could also set up a similar checkbox for people who didn't get the job or who you know that you're not going to do an interview with. It's always such a bummer when people put so much work into their application and then they don't even hear from the prospective employer. And so whenever I'm hiring, I try to do my best to at least let people know. And this is a really easy way to do that. So you can just write a nice email once saying, thanks so much for your interest. At this time, we don't have a position for you, but please check back later. And then you can just set up another checkbox to do that. And it's easy as that. I'm just going to paste some more data in here so it looks a little bit more like it would. And when we've got a lot of applications, then we can do things like filter by, you know, whether we've already scheduled interviews with people and creating a new view for that. So we create a view here called follow ups. Create the view and filter it where schedule an interview is checked, meaning just the people who I have scheduled interviews with. If I go back to my main view, I could group this by the position. And so we can see, you know, group people grouped by the positions they're applying for. And that's it. That's how to set up a hiring system in Airtable. If you enjoyed this video, I recommend checking out these full build tutorials here. It's a huge boost for me anytime you like the video or leave a comment. I'm making these videos for you and I'd love to hear what you're making or what you want to learn next. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you next time.